Hi, this is John. It is Thursday, July 7th. Um, this is the uh, second weight loss surgery post operation video that I'm making. Um, it's been a week since my surgery. Uh, yesterday was I went for my follow up visit um, with my bariatric surgeon and um, got the all clear to move on to full liquids from soft, from just clear liquids. Um, the first week I did okay. Uh, the um, the clear liquids were you know pretty unexciting. I mean, basically, it's just uh, you know water, uh, decaf tea if you like it, um, decaf tea or coffee, uh, diet jello, uh, broth, beef broth, chicken broth, vegetable broth. Um, I did I did really well. Um, I. Uh, ironically, I mean, coffee used to be my ultra favorite thing before the surgery, and since the surgery, I cannot stand the smell of coffee. It smells horrid to me, and that is so whacked because never in a million years do I think that the smell of coffee just turns me off. But uh, it's really, really weird. I mean, I tried drinking decaf coffee a couple times. I could drink about two ounces of it and it just didn't sit well with me all that well. I mean, I didn't get sick. I've never gotten sick once and they were actually kind of surprised about that at a doctor's office. I mean, I have had an extremely good experience so far. I mean, no, when I was in the hospital, I had some nausea and I got a, 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 a prescription for nausea medication, but I haven't taken it once. I mean, no nausea, um, very little pain, uh, I've had some discomfort, but I mean, I'm still my stomach's still healing. Um, it's been a week since I <laughs> cut it up, rearranged it, moved it all around, <laughs> put it back together again. Uh, but uh, seriously, I mean, you know, I've had a lot of uh, intestinal gas, um, and then also just the bloating around my stomach during the first week, first couple days, especially from where they blow up with carbon dioxide to um, so they can operate. So I think that's all dissipated. I've done a lot of walking in the last week. Um, but as far as diet goes, it's pretty much just been, you know, I've pretty much just stuck with, with diet jello, and it should be sugar free jello and water, and um, some diet iced tea. Uh, I did really well on that. But I was, uh, saw the doctor yesterday. I was really happy to finally have some real food, even though it's just soft food in my mouth today and last night. Um, I had uh, Chobani yogurt last night, and um, I started off with soup, with some cream of, of chicken soup, um, and I made that with milk, with uh, skim milk, fat-free skim milk. That did not sit well with me at all. Uh, that actually kind of upset my stomach, but um, I didn't get sick, just kind of make runs to the restroom, and that's just never pleasant. Uh, but then I, later, a couple hours later, I had some Chobani yogurt. I think the yogurt with the active cultures in it did my stomach a world of good. I had some more yogurt this morning and then my stomach feels much better. Um, also, I can think better too. <laughs> I swear, I was just on clear liquids. It got to a point, I was having a, little, a hard time focusing and concentrating. I don't know, just because I didn't have any brain food going in my body or what. Now, on the bright side, uh, I weighed 220 and a half pounds this morning. Um, that is 10 pounds lighter than the day of surgery. That's 17 pounds lighter than um, a week ago Friday, pre-op, on the 24th of June. And that's 29 pounds lighter since June 1 when I first walked into the doctor's office and they weighed me for my uh, initial visit. So I made some pretty good progress in the last month. I mean, really, I mean, if you had asked me if I'd be almost 30 pounds lighter in a month's time from June 1, I would have said, no way. But here I am. Uh, so it's, 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 it's going along just, just well, very well. Uh, what else do I want to say here? Um, protein, um, I mixed half a scoop of vanilla protein powder with my plain non-fat Chobani yogurt. And I, that's what I like. Um, just started getting protein and really took it today and yes and last night a little bit with the yogurt. Um, but now also also the put me on you know 
after the week out goes by, you're on full liquids now, you start your vitamins, you start your calcium, which you're going to uh, keep up, so 1,500 milligrams of calcium uh, a day, as well as iron supplement. So I'm taking my vitamins, and I'm taking my calcium supplements, and I'm trying to get my protein in, and just trying to stay on top of all the things I should be bringing into my body, since I'm no longer taking it in, in food sources. Uh, but uh, at this rate, I'm going to be... Uh, doing really well. Um, still got a ways to go, but hey, it's been a week, so I'm not complaining. Uh, the only other thing is uh, is I'm still going to give it a couple more days before I start doing any real serious cardio. I mean, I've been doing a lot of walking, uh, but not really hitting it hard like on the elliptical trainer. I'm going to be doing that probably starting Monday, go back to the YMCA and uh, head to the elliptical trainer, um, the only thing the doctor and the nurse cautioned me about is not to, is to give it at least four weeks before I try lifting anything over 10 pounds. No heavy lifting, no bending, no you know, extended amounts of bending. Um, but they said, you know, any amount of cardio I want to do is fine. That They said that helps strengthen the tone up your midsection and your muscles with uh, not too much uh, problems. And um, it also helps... Of course, at least one of the nurses there you know, helps to tighten up the skin and reduce the amount of loose skin and flab that you'll have. So, I don't have any flab yet. I'm sure I will. But it uh, beats being ultra fat. So, anyway, that's it for today's uh, follow up visit video. I uh, hope you all have a great week, and uh, I'll probably make another one in another week or two. Take care.